So we've added the home page, um, which is a module page. The next thing we have to do is add a content area so we can put our content in. So we need to go to this area here and on the little plus button, you go create content area. Select that, give it a name. Let's say course content. Course content. Make it available to users and then click on submit. Okay, what you see here is a little uh, gray box. It means the link has no content. So select the course content. As you can see, it's empty. So we need to build content. So what we'll first of all is put in an item. Then we'll put in a blank page. Then we'll put in two content folders. So let's go into the item first. Select item. Give it a name. So the name might be introduction. Introduction. You can change the color if you want. And you can put in some text here. So for example, in this course, we will da, 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 da. Um, you can change up here you can change the font attributes um, we've also got undo buttons here you can add links hyperlinks highlight the text this is the uh, equation editor um, you can also add HTML if you want and here you can attach files and audio and video and for example YouTube and Flickr photographs so it's quite powerful the editor you have here and this editor um, exists on basically all the, the blank pages the items the blogs the wikis anything you do you'll have this editor so it's very easy for both yourself and for students to create content so I'll keep it short here you can add as much as you want but it's best probably in the introduction to keep it short you can attach a file if you want permit users to view this content content yes track number of views yes submit um, you can leave the date and time open or you can set restrictions on it we leave it open so click on submit we've added an item now the next thing we might want to put in is a blank page um, the difference between an item and a blank page is anything you put in an item is displayed on this screen here but anything you put on a blank page you have to click to get into that blank page so if you've got a lot of information it's probably best to use a blank page so select blank page Let's call it, let's say, course overview. Again, you can change the color if you want. You've got the same editor here, so you can add in some text. So you might go um, course overview. You might have, you might put in your assessments, put in grading, you might, put, you might have in resources. So I'm just putting an overview here, but you could fill in all these pieces of information afterwards. So that would be the course overview. Again, the same things you can add. Um, attach a file as well. Track number of views. Leave it open, the date and time, and then click on Submit. So as you can see here in this one, we see what's in the item here. We don't see it. We have to click on it to get in there. So now we need to add two content folders, one for the learning modules and one for the important documents. So Again, build over here to content folder, select that, give it a name, we're going to call it learning modules. Um, so you could add it in some text there, a description about it, um, I won't bother here. And again, I like to track the number of views, no date and time restrictions, click on submit. And here we have the learning modules. The final one, again, a content folder give it a name let's call it important documents same thing again you can add text in there if you want track the number of the views leave open here click on submit and now we have our course content page complete in the next videos um, we'll look at adding materials to these um, areas